Hello everybody, this is Tweets, and today, in the DayZ Mod Tutorial, Episode 3, I am going to show you how to publish and pack a server mod, so this way you can have your custom load screen, or your custom clothing, or any like custom guns, or whatever you can in your server mod, so which can go on your server, and boom, you'll have everything on your server, but you got to be careful with this because certain mods, you can't just go and take any mod off the workshop and you can't just pack it into your, the PBOs into your server mod. Um, it's against the copyrights. Um, you could get it with DMCAs. Um, unless you have permission from the mod creator itself, you can't pack them. So how to make your own server mod? Well, it's actually fairly simple. First thing you want to do is you want to create a new folder. I usually go on my desktop when I do this, but anywhere pretty much you can just do that. You just create a new folder, give it the name of the server mod. So I'm just going to call it sample server mod. And then inside that, you're going to open that folder. And you're going to give it a new folder. You're going to call that capital A, then the rest lowercase add ons, A D D O S. Done. So in here is where you're going to put all your PBOs. Um, like on the last video, this load screen that we did for the sample, you will just stick your PBO inside there. And then that's it. And then it's uh, time to give it like the buy signs and the keys. What you do not want for private server mods is to have a keys folder inside your server mod or else other people to just add it to their servers. So what you do is first, anywhere you want, wherever you feel comfortable. I always keep mine on my backup drive, but for this case, I'll put it on my desktop. You'll create a new folder on your desktop, call it Daisy or whatever you want, Daisy Keys, and then leave that alone. And then you're gonna go bring up your Daisy tools. And for this, you're gonna use DS Utilis. You're gonna open this up, and then you're gonna click Add Source and Directory. You're gonna search for your server mod that you just created. So on mine, it's on the desktop. And then here it is, sample server mod. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you click the add-ons folder, hit okay. And then as you can see, it brought up the PBO. Now you're gonna generate your keys. So you're gonna click the N over here under options, that's the private key. You're gonna name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it sample. Um, you name it, whatever your server is. And then you're going to give it to the path to the folder for your keys folder that you just created. Like on mine, I just did desktop, but like I said, you can put it anywhere you want. Just click on the folder, hit OK, and then hit create key. And this will pop up. All you got to do is just click OK. And then now it is set to read your key, your private key. And then all that's left now is to hit process file. Then you would want to click yes on this. Once it's processed, all green, you see the green check mark, you could close that. And then you go back to your server mod. Yeah, I'll just start from the scratch here. You just open up your server mod click on add-ons and then now you'll notice there's a new folder file in here and it's a buy sign file so that that's pat it's all ready to go and ready to be published so what you're going to do is you're going to go to daisy publisher and then you're going to create a new workshop item um, i'm just going to call this the same thing that i called that folder sample server mod now you don't want to make sure this visibility is 
public or else anyone trying to join your server will not be able to install it. But so e even though it's public, as long as your keys are not your, in your server mod, no, no one can still use it. They can add it to their server, but since they don't have the key, they're just going to get constant PBO errors and their server won't fully launch. So anyways, once you get that done, usually what I do for any type of server mod, you click over here on tags. I always go server side mod and then I hit OK. And then from there, you're going to go to files, mod content, you know, all the way to the, left, uh, the right, click on the yellow folder. And now you're going to browse for the server mod that you just created folder. Mine is in desktop. You're going to click single click your server mod. You don't want to open it, just single click it and then select folder. And then it should look like this, it should say all signed. Um, down here is where you would put your description. If it's a server mod, you would put like um, this server, this mod is for s such and such server. Um, do not use without permission, blah, 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 that kind of thing. Um, and then once that's all done, you can upload an image, say whatever you want. Um, then all you gotta do is hit, I agree with Steam Workshop license and then publish. You'll wait for it to go green. It'll turn green when it's all done. Like just like that. Now it's successfully published. So you can close all of this. Then what you do to check is you can open up your steam. Go to your Steam profile, go to your workshop items, and then there it is, all published and ready to go. That is, um, it's just normal, really, the Steam's been weird. You can just hit reload and it'll go away. Let's see if I watch, watch I go back now. And it should be done, yep. So there it is. It's all published. It's ready to go. Now, to get it to work on your server, you're going to go into that keys folder that you also created on your desktop. Where, well, I put it on the desktop, but you put it wherever you wanted. And you're going to take the top key, the buy key, this one right here. You don't want to use the private. You want to keep these, though, for every time you update your server mod. But... You want to take this buy key, you're going to copy it. You're going to go to your server panel. Talk to that guy later. <laughs> you're going to go to your server panel on your server machine. <clears throat> you're going to look for your server's keys folder. And then you will paste that inside that keys folder. And then restart your server once you add your server mod. And then it'll work. I usually like, and for the most part, server mods are better on mod order. You would want it towards the top. So say you have an, say you have an, an Namas server. You would have CF first. Um, you would have Namas, uh, Namas Island, one way or the other. Then you would have your admin tools, and then right after your admin tools is where you would want your server mod, and then after that all your other mods. And then you'll just start your uh, server and boom, your server mod will be on there. And that is pretty much it on how to pack a server mod. Now to update it, say you uh, you had another, another PBO that you just made, like anything, and you want to update it. You would uh, then, I, what I usually do is I just take my uh, mod folder that and I create, delete this buy sign. And then I would add the new PBO to it. Um, I don't have a current PBO made, so we'll just pretend there's another PBO in there. Um, and then you would do the same thing. You would bring up Daisy Tools. You would do DSC Tillis. Add your source folder add-ons boom now just remember we're pretending there's two pbos in there now um and since you've already made your key it remembered it 
So as long as it's black right in, it's remembered. If it's red, you'll have to hit the yellow folder and find it on desktop. Go to your keys you'll, and find it. It'll be the private key. And then once you've done that set, you just process. Hit yes. Blah, blah, blah. All that again. Exit that. And then there'll be four files. You know, we're pretending. There'll be two buy sides and two PBOs. Then once it's done, you'll just bring up the publisher. You'll find the one that you your server mod that's already published, sample server mod. And then you would just add that folder all over again, just like you did the first time. And then here you would add like a change note. Let's say it's like add in clothing. And then that way you have a change note. And then you just hit agree and update. And then yes. And then once it updates, you'll have your server mod will automatically update. You don't have to add the key again because you're using the same key. So you don't have to add it to your server. If this ever pops up, just click yes. Um, this this item server server was changed. Meanwhile, would you like to overwrite your changes? I always click yes. Um, and then you can exit all of this. And then that's it. And then it'll just update. If you use insert, um, server providers like GTS or whatever, you just gonna have to wait for it to process. And that'll be under your Steam Workshop updates and then just update it. But as you can see, if you go to your profile now and go straight to your Workshop items and look at the mod, it's got two change notes now. And then it shows up add and clothing. Um, and that that's pretty much it. That's that's all there is to make a server mod. So it again, it, you don't want to pack anything that is doesn't you don't have permission to use. So if there's like any mods out there and you say, well, let's just pack it into my server mod, it'll be easier this way. Well, if the mod has it said uh, anywhere on their mod, this mod is not right. Like right here on my items pad. Um, do not unpack, repack, copy, or change this mod at all without permission from tweets, the owner. If you see anything like that, then you can't take that mod and use it on your server mod unless you talk to the person, send them a message or whatever, and then get permission. But other than that, if you're just making things, boom. Make a server mod. It, it's great because that gives you like custom load screens, anyways. That you need that for custom load screens. So that that's pretty much it. That's all there is to publishing and creating your own server mod. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, you can join my Discord. And the link will be below. Don't be afraid to ask anything, and. That's it. We would we'll, we'll get y'all taken care of. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.